Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Liberty Loft Lessons. This will be episode number 38. The song I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is a song from the intro, and that's called I'll Be Round by Marlins Dreaming. This is another highly requested song, so big shout out to H. Jimeno25, Hadi Hassan, and Winter City Ghost for requesting this song. This should be a really quick lesson. I'm only gonna divvy it up into two parts. I'm gonna show you guys the chords, which there's only three of them, and then I'm gonna move on and show you guys the melody licks, which I'm gonna show you all four that he plays throughout the song. So if you have one of these guys, you'll definitely wanna get it out because we're gonna be looping the chords again and playing the melody over it. As always, I'm really excited to show you guys this song. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the lesson. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with those chords, right? And these are all gonna be minor seven shapes. So we're gonna start with this C sharp minor seven. Then our next chord is gonna be a B minor seven. And our last chord is gonna be an F sharp minor seven. So the strum pattern is gonna be a mixture of down and up strums, and you kinda of just gotta feel the groove it's kind of hard to teach it, but I'll show you what it sounds like. Two things I want to point out about it are sometimes he'll play this C minor seven in between the C sharp minor seven and the B minor seven. I've noticed that pattern a lot in some of the songs from the Lizard Tears album. And secondly, there's this little turnaround part after he ends on that F sharp minor seven. It sounds like this, right? And all that is, is just going to be zero, one, two. And that will bring us back into the All right, so let's go ahead and loop those chords that we learned so you guys know what it sounds like. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys all the melodies that he plays over those chords. So it's gonna sound like this. that chord progression loops let's go on and learn the melody all right so now i'm going to teach you guys all the melodies and fills that we play over that chord section the first one is going to sound like this to start the song right so all that's going to be is if we start with our ring finger on the ninth fret of the g string right here we'll hit it and slide up to the 11th fret and then with my middle finger, I'm gonna hit the 10th fret of the B string. And with my ring finger, I'm gonna come up here to the 12th fret of the B string. Hit it once, then hit it again and slide up to 14. And then come back down to 12, 10 on the B string. And we'll end right here, 11 of the G string. So once again, slowly. So that's gonna kick off the song, right? So it'll sound like this. All right, then the next part, right? All right, so let's talk about that part, right? So all I'm doing is some quick pull-offs. So ring finger on the 11th fret of the G string, and we're gonna pull off to nine, right? Same thing on the D string. And then right here on the A string, I'm gonna go 11, 10, nine. So. Right, so that's the second lick. So all together. Right, here comes the third one. So for that one, I'm gonna start with my ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string, and we're gonna bend it a full step up. And while it's up, I'm gonna pluck it, and I'm gonna release, and pull off to two on the G string, and then I'm gonna end right here, four of the D string. So. All right, so all together what we have so far. Now, 
there's another part too, you'll notice in one of the verses, there's another fill, it'll be the fourth one. And it sounds like this. Right, and then it goes, now that's when it goes. Right. So all that's gonna be is, we're gonna start with our index finger on the second fret of the D string here. We're gonna go back and forth, two to four, so. All right, and then we're gonna go two on the G string, back to four on the D string, so. Then we're gonna go G string, fourth fret, slide up to six, then come back down, four, two, and end four on the D string. And then, so that would be the fourth lick, and then that's when it goes. All right, so that's all four melody licks. Let's go ahead and play them over that chord progression one more time. So that's your song. All right, so that does it for the video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanna remind you guys to please like this video. Also, please consider subscribing. I wanna thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. And until next time, my name's Charlie with Liberty Loft Lessons, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Back to four on the, on the 